Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Recipe for Disaster, and I'm picking this up right where we left off. I'm gonna look at your comments and stuff from the last video uh, after I record this one. So I'm in doing at least two here in one sitting. Now, I've looked over here, and it says we're at 29 out of 100% popularity rating. Uh, and so this means we're gonna get an average of four customers per hour, and it's recommending that I have a dish markup of 678%. So my dishes are significantly cheaper than this recommendation. So I've gone ahead and I've adjusted the prices up a little bit. I'm not hitting 600%. This is, this is under a 600% markup right now, but I figure there's no real reason to leave that much money on the table. So I have raised these up. Uh, some of these are getting closer to 600%, but most of these are up around the 400 to 500% range. I've also now removed the fried pork loin. It wasn't that popular anyway. Only one, um, only really one customer wanted it. If somebody wants to order it, that that's great. Um, and actually what I should actually, let me change my mind on this. I'm gonna add it because I have 11 in storage. I'm noticing this. So I'm gonna add it back here. And we're gonna leave it as $8. Now that's not nearly 600%. So maybe people will, will buy it, but it's unsafe for all. We're gonna cook it. Um, I don't have like a whole grasp of what I should put with it with it right now. Um, but one thing I have done, you see there's a little missing ingredients icon here next to the fried sweet pork ribs. I have adjusted this recipe slightly. Um, I've added some honey because these are supposed to be sweet pork ribs. I realized the kiwi is kind of good there too. I've added some honey there to see if that helps it at all. Uh, a little bit of its rating, if you will. Um, and just a little bit of salt, but um, I've added salt and I don't have any in storage. So that's why it's complaining. So I went ahead and in the food storage ingredients or whatever, uh, I went ahead and ordered some salt. So we're gonna be keeping some salt in storage as well. For the pork loin, we have 11 in storage. I'm gonna bring this down to like, I'm gonna say like three, right? And if we run out of it, then we run out of it and I pull it off the menu. Um, but for the time being, I'm just, I'm not gonna fill up my storage with this because we are getting close to capacity on this. Okay, so uh, other than that, the restaurant looks pretty good before we open today. Or actually, we can do this after we open too, but you have to be in build mode, I think, to see this. Maybe not, um, but I'm gonna look at this, this little star icon here. This is the ambience overlay. So obviously green is good. Yellow is getting there, you know, uh, and then red is, is poor. And so you can see that our restaurant looks great. Everybody kind of universally, the feedback we've been getting on the restaurant, kind of they all agree this stuff, it looks great, right? Everybody likes this. So um, I've made a couple of changes here though. Um, so I went ahead and I moved the bench against the wall so, so it's not sticking out. And I put the bushes and stuff right next to it. So this adds a little bit of ambience in this area too. I'm gonna add something else out here too. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna add actually. I just know I wanna add something. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to landscaping. How about some, um, some wall vines or something? Add it like right here and I don't know. It actually looks kind of good. Maybe we can get uh, some wall vines above the door. I've replaced the door. It's now a glass door, so it looks a little nicer. I've also added this window so people can see inside when they're waiting in line. And that's the reason why the ambience is getting affected out here, or why I wanna affect the ambience out here. I'm actually gonna put in, I think, maybe a couple more like shrubs or something. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Not enough space around the break bench. So this is the break bench. This is where they take their breaks. Uh, so I'm actually gonna move that now because now that I'm being told that, I didn't know this was uh, specifically for breaks. I'm gonna put it back here. People take their breaks back here. That's good. Uh, so anyway, what I wanna do out here is I want to give them a really good atmosphere, a really good environment out here because they are going to be waiting in line. This is where they wait in line, right? So this is almost green. It looks pretty good. And if I go ahead and click this, you can see this is where they're gonna wait in line. This is how they're forming their lines. I don't want them to do that. So I'm gonna just move this really quick. Move this back over here. Customers cannot queue by the sign. All right, I need to move this here and then move it back. Okay, so it's it's got to do with this tile. There's a space here where they can't stand and it's messing with them. So how about that? Can you stand here now? Oops. Uh, they're still doing the zigzaggy thing, but maybe that's okay. I'd like them to just line up in a straight line right here. I'm wondering if I move this. 
Will you do it now? No. How about if I move it in here? What do, what do you do now? Okay, that's interesting. So this little sign here, right? This is what's responsible for getting them to queue up. And I was kind of hoping they would just line up straight, but they are still doing this zigzag. I don't want them to do that, man. I'm really, I'm kind of like very anti that. Don't do that. They're gonna do it anyway. Well, whatever. They're, this is where they're gonna line up. So let's go ahead and open the restaurant. We've got $1,200, okay? And our dry capacity is full, it says. So let's, um, I guess I can see this with the ambience on. Dry capacity is full. Now this means that we're not gonna be able to get any more stuff in dry storage, but that's okay. We're kind of using the maximum that we can. I can alleviate this a little bit, but maybe keeping nine honey in there, right? Maybe we keep nine salt in here. And that would hopefully mean that as we start using more uh, resources, then why are you guys all sad? Oh, you were, you were showing me that you were sad. That's weird. Don't be sad. It's Christmas. <laughs> Um, I will rename all of these guys after you guys too. So if you want to be in my restaurant, uh, just tell me like, you know, a little bit about yourself. You know, do you cook? Do you want to be a server? Do you want to be the guy that scrubs the toilets? Come on. Think of the prestige, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to get started on this too now. Um, I have a feeling that... Yeah, so this is adding to some stress because we need more storage. And it's not really going to stress out everybody else. It should just stress out the owner. Yeah. So now our dry capacity is full again. So I, I do want to expand this kitchen and make it bigger. I really do. Um, I also think it'd be a good idea to maybe go back into build mode really quick. And I extended the sidewalk and now I'm thinking... I want to extend it even more. It's break time, right? So they're just going to wait around here. There's no like dumpsters or like any place for trash. You know, like that doesn't exist, which is kind of odd, but okay. Keep it going. Doesn't it look charming? It's a charming little neighborhood, right? Just a little restaurant on the corner kind of thing. Right across from a gas station. I'm totally digging it. It's great. Ding, fries are done. Uh -huh. So uh, I do want to see if we need extra employees. I, I really want to see profit, though. That's the hard part right now is like, are we even going to be profitable? I don't know, because right now we're not. We're down 52 bucks, 43 bucks. We need more customers. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's this? Uh, employee charisma skill. Let's go ahead and give Charlie some experience in charisma. All right, so Melanie Graham, it says, she says, oh, she's coming in here, look at this. She's like, I have over five years of experience in the industry and you'll find that I'm very well-rounded. Hiring fee is $62. She wants 12 dollars oh, so she's coming in wanting to work for us. Okay, the one thing I don't, I wish I could see what she's like before I hire her. She's not in the list. I, like, I kind of want to know her traits before I hire her. But I suppose that's not realistic, is it? She says she has five years of experience. So like, I would think she would be good. So I, I'm going to I'm gonna do it just so I, I want to stress people out, right? So I'm going to do it just this once and like, ugh. Maybe negotiating salary is a good idea. No, that's my final offer. <laughs> She's not interested in negotiations. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know who you are. Um, Melanie Graham, but all right. I'm going to hire you. Um, now I need to figure out who the heck you are. Oh, she's kitchen. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Good. We have kitchen staff. And she's good on all the stuff in the kitchen, too. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, so that worked out well. You are now part of the kitchen staff. There we go. Uh, and we're going to make sure that you are set up on all the things, Melanie. We're gonna get you assigned. Uh, I think Melanie is gonna go at the front here because she's. Uh, well, Jasmine's pretty good with this actually. So let's let's get Tony off of this. Yeah, this is Melanie and Nessa. Uh, here we can do 
Uh, this is actually the one thing Melanie's not good at is the countertop stuff. So yeah, we definitely want to keep Jody there because she loves it. Um, Nessa can, this can be Melanie followed up by Jasmine. Um, we can have Melanie here, follow this up with J Jody. Uh, and then same thing, we keep Jody there because she likes it. And then maybe give Tony a little extra thing there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. For cleaning tasks, we need to make sure that people are on cleaning tasks. Although given that Melanie's really good in the kitchen, she's technically my best cook. Maybe she's not somebody who I would put on cleaning. Um, I think maybe what we'll do, cause she's a one on cleaning too. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll get uh, Pony to just sort of play third base on that. Third base, yep, third base, that's what I said. So now we have more staff. Now, does this stress me out? Yeah, there we go. So we're not understaffed anymore and that's a lot less stress for me. But the thing about this, right, is, I mean, we're still negative. So I, I gotta see positive results here. Fried pork loin was cheap. Okay, good. Golden ribs was cheap. Good. Uh, nothing I loved was on the menu. I wish they had fried, but yeah. So here's the fried spiced pork loin. I mean, Look, you don't have to add every recipe that they want you to add. You don't. This is a this is not required. And but if I start getting like multiple requests for something called fried spiced pork loin, then okay, fine. Um Melanie's performing exceptionally well in the kitchen as well. Beautiful. We're still hitting our maximum on dried storage. I I got to do something about that. I think um I'm going to pause this really quick. I think I want to I need to add more dried, uh, dried storage. Why don't we try this? Um, go back into build mode. Why don't we move you? Oh, this is not going to work. Um, well, maybe it will. If I move this, I have all these fire extinguishers, which is a really good thing to have, by the way. It's not, that's not a bad thing having all these. I'm going to put it over here instead. Uh, I'm going to shift this to here and then we'll duplicate it and flip it over. And this is going to give us, I know it's like the first thing you see when you walk in the door is this, but I mean, and this is a choke point you totally wouldn't want, but you don't need to transport any meals through here, right? You, the cooks put it here and then the staff takes it from there. So um, like you don't need to like have a complicated dish already prepared going through this little narrow area and this gives me more dried storage which is why well, I, I need that right now so yeah okay so we're not going to be full on storage anymore uh to show you what that's like we'll take food storage notice my capacity is now 150. um so i can now for example have 10 in both of these things keep getting these these frowny faces Ooh, a five star rating thank you <laughs> now we can see what customers are thinking too while they're sitting here too so i can look look at their thoughts if they have anything notable it'll be here but i can also see each individual customer i can see what they like so this person likes fried food ground beef they don't like boiled bananas or lemons so anything that has boiled bananas or lemons they're not going to like it this person is also a snob so they expect a high level of customer service so basically oh and there's and we have stingy people so basically they're called we, we also refer to them as customers <laughs> Um, in any case, I keep getting these frowny faces on my kitchen staff, and I don't know why. Um, too crowded. Ooh, it's too... Ah, too many cooks in the kitchen. They don't like how many people are in here. So I... Which makes sense. There is a lot of people in here. Why don't we have... It's only a negative one. I think they can, they can muscle it out for today. Um, if we can get profitable, which is not guaranteed at all, we are still not making any money um i would very much like to get more people into here let's go let's go let's go uh why aren't we delivering food there we go golden ribs is delicious and it's a green number now i feel i feel much better temporarily it's a green number anyway it's so back and forth <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, yep. So we're doing okay. Still getting three stars, but mostly four stars. Yeah. T-Bone. Majestic T-Bone was disgusting. Paul Holmes. Which one are you? Is, is this you, Paul? Are you Are you this guy right here? 
Oh, I can't see them once they're out of my restaurant. Yeah. Once they're out of here, I can't see them. Ooh, a big tipper. Customer will pay extra money. All right. I like Rochelle Vasquez. We're going to give you... Got to give you excellent service. We have ingredient discount. So some, some ingredients are currently discounted. Uh, this one. Lemon are currently discounted. I don't think I want to get any lemon. Um... Is there anything else? Bananas are discounted. Okay. So like every once in a while, we'll have some ingredients that are discounted and then that's the time to adjust and buy them, right? Right now we have six stored on the pork loin. I might adjust these. Like I'm gonna adjust these res these recipes, right? We're not gonna leave them like this. Um, I just don't know what to do with them. I'm, I'm really hoping actually that there's some really good comments telling me how to make my meals. <laughs> Hey, Charlie, you want to, like, go do this? Oh, Jasmine's doing it right now. Order's up. Yeah. Good. So this person's loud. Disruptive, causing nearby customers to lose patience at a faster rate. Oh, gosh. Please, no. Can we just stick her in the corner? You know? That sounded like... That sound, it sounded like something happened. Like a bad thing happened. I don't have any terrible reviews we're up to 36 popularity now we're getting extra or now we're getting five customers per hour 718 percent recommended dish markup so the more popular we are the more we can charge right but i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to get us to like a thousand percent popularity right or uh, i'm going to get it to where it recommends a thousand percent uh markup and then i'll adjust it to like 850 or something it's just as long as this number is green that's the important thing this number has to be green at the end of the day to show that we are making money and not losing money. And I have one extra employee that I did not uh, plan on having, but um, we're making meals pretty quickly. We're getting good deliveries. And there's that sound again. Does that mean it's like Nessa's blinking, but I think that's just because she's going on break. Like Nessa's on break, you know? Ingredients are ordered. And this is going well. We have over a thousand dollars again. Oh, you know what that sound maybe that sound is somebody not performing well when they cook. Hey, somebody leveled up. Cleaning the cleaning skill for Tony has been increased to three. She's been doing enough cleaning that her skill went up. That's very awesome. Uh, so she's now a level three cleaner. Uh, and we can choose something. Choose one option from the list below. So Tony has become more experienced in cleaning. We want to do something different. So maybe she's stress tolerant. One extra breaking point before quitting. Or she's happy when the tables are full. Or she can extinguish fires faster. I like the stress tolerance. Things might get really stressful later. And uh, yeah, I think maybe that extra point could be a good thing. Um, happy when the tables are full. Yeah, I'm going to go stress tolerant. So I didn't know that happens either. There's You can give people traits when they level up. That's sweet. So now I have to wonder, you know, how do I get more charisma skill? I really want myself, I really want Charlie to be very charismatic. How do we practice charisma? What's that sound again? I really want to know what that sound is. I don't see an... I don't see an uh, indicator that tells me what it is. Is it something breaking or... Oh, what's going on here? You look like you're sick. What's going on? Oh, plus four, I need a break. Tony needs a break. Good thing I gave her that stress tolerance. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, go on break then, Tony. He's like, ugh, just give me... It's break time, dude. Yep, go back here and have a break, all right? And do we want to do something about the ambience back here? Like, does this make them happier? Because right, I don't think it's very good back here. Right, it's kind of a yellow. I think we could probably do better here. Um, maybe we put the vines right next to the... Nope, this one. Put it right next to the door. It makes it a little greener, right? Maybe get a tree back here. Yeah, a tree in the break area, absolutely. Give them some shade, you know, if it's a hot day or something. Um, you can get some plants. Plant groupings, maybe right there. Some burned kinds of things. Some shrubbery along the along the wall. 
I like it. Uh, maybe we move this over here so it's not so hard to see them. There we go. That's I can dig that. You know, that's a good place. And then, you know, it gives them a little bit better of an environment while they're taking a break. I like it. All right. Proceed. It is still too crowded in my kitchen, though. Way too crowded. Um, getting the ingredients delivered costed me a bunch. So now we're at a red number. 228. 268. Oh, you know, I really need my popularity up. I really want to charge more for my meals. I need more money. This is not, it's not going as well as I was hoping. Um, I wanted really, really green numbers is what I was hoping for. Uh oh, patience. Go, Charlie. Do the thing. There you go. There you go. Three stars, I guess. Um, nothing I loved on the menu. Majestic T-Bone was disgusting. Majestic T-Bone was disgusting. This one says it's disgusting as well. Does anyone else hate the majestic T-bone? I mean, like, nobody likes my meals. <laughs> Maybe I should have my own menu. Maybe I should adjust to these menus, because majestic T-bone has uh, the T-bone steak, obviously, and then egg, brown onion, garlic, potatoes, chili powder. It was disgusting, you guys. <laughs> it's really bad. We should edit this. So this is what it looks like. We basically, we grill the T-bone. Uh, we also boil the potatoes. Serve them together, right? Grill step, put it in there and we, we do it together. If there's anything else we could do, we'd do it here, I guess. But this is what we do, right? Uh, do we want to add anything to this? How about some ketchup with your potatoes? <laughs> no. Hey, there's some pre-cooked rice in here too. I don't know, maybe we squeeze some lemon on the T-bone steak. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it after I stop recording this. Um, you know, I might consult my wife here a little bit. I might actually get her involved. She's not really ever involved in anything I do for my job. She's just not a gamer. But, you know, she is a cook. She does cook very well. I, I will not. I'm not saying that just because she's my wife and I'll get in trouble if I don't say it, right? She's not going to watch this video. She doesn't know what I'm going to say. But I'll tell her. I'll tell you right now. She's a good cook. And so I'm thinking maybe I can get her involved and it could be her menu. Although if I was going to do that, I would have to have like an Asian themed restaurant because I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to go there too far, but I'm not entirely sure she would be the best authority on the, uh, you know, steakhouse home American cooking kind of thing. Right. So I don't know about that. But this is it's Charlie's Christmas Palace. <laughs> like, yeah. And to get this tier one target objective, we just need one more five-star review. That's it. Have seven seated at, at once. Uh, that is possible, but we're not going to get it. 43% popularity. Uh, I just need one more five-star review. That's it. But at the end of the, it's, it's nearing the end of the day and we're almost there, you know? With wages paid at the end of the hour, we are now only down five dollars today. I think that's I think that's progress. Yeah, that's progress. And we got a nifty little break room over here too. I like it. Now the real question is, how in the world do we make our stuff better? We had eighty-seven percent positive today, so I think overall our reviews are doing really well. Today's popularity, we're up forty-seven percent. And we had pretty much the same average rating. It does say we're up 18%, but that's the same. Uh, so most of the complaints got a bad, a negative review just because the sweet ribs were okay. Probably a snob. This person wishes we had something else on the menu. Meh, whatever. So this person had to wait a long time before Jasmine was serving her. And so two people had to wait a long time to be served. Okay. I may need to distribute servers like sections just a little bit better, possibly, especially when we take breaks, right? Servers are going to take breaks. Charlie's going to take a break. And at that point, his tables are waiting, right? So, yeah, I need to maybe look at one of the cooks. Maybe I can have one of the cooks serve if they're decent at it. That would also remove the whole too many cooks in the kitchen bit. So we'll see. 
finances looking pretty good. I did spend $2,000 in renovations, but that's not nearly as much as the first day, but I did spend more here. So if we subtract this off of my expenses, we are profitable, right? Yeah. We subtract this from my expenses, we are profitable. Uh, so I just need to look at that. Staff wise, good distribution here. Average stamina was way lower today on Tony. But overall, pretty much everybody worked the same. This Today was Melanie's first day. And she's really good in the kitchen. And she's making less per hour than some of the other ones that are. Well, some of the other ones that are. Jasmine's quite expensive, actually. And she spent uh, yesterday all idle because that was her first day, first day as well. I hired her right at the end of the day. So, yep. Charlie had a little bit more energy today, probably because there was extra servers. And the golden ribs are still... Uh, actually, well, they're pretty, pretty evenly matched. Nobody wants these. I don't have very many of them anyway. But, yeah. All right, well, shifting to day three. Is there anything I want to change at the start of the day? Um, ingredients, I think we're full up. Yeah, we, pre we have pretty much everything. So, we're not going to have to order anything at the beginning of the day. That's good. And everything should be clean and ready to rock. I don't think there's anything I need to do uh, other than like moving people around. So let's go ahead and open. Get people to come on into work. And when everybody's arrived, we will take a look at staff distributions. So everybody reports to the front. Good. Okay. So I want to take a look at the, the tables really quick. This is Charlie's main section. Tony's also here. So I'm going to move this to be a Jasmine's table. Actually, let's swap this to be Jasmine's table. Charlie will take secondary on this. This can be Jasmine's table. Charlie will take secondary on this. This can be Jasmine's table. And Charlie will take secondary on this. Now, Jasmine is part of the server, serving team. And I don't think she had a main table. Okay, I, I lied. She totally does. Here, here. Um here here okay these are all the same i see so there's definitely a problem here okay let's say that charlie's section charlie's section with uh let's go with tony as a backup on this this one will be charlie's section with tony as a backup we'll just copy this setting to here um these three are, are Jasmine's tables with Charlie as a backup. And then this table can be, uh, let's see, how do we want to do this section wise? Along the wall is one section. And then we'll say that these three are a section and these three are a section. So we're given three, we're basically giving three tables per server is what I would like to do. Um, so this whole thing is going to be Jasmine's. We'll have this be Charlie's section with Tony backing up. Yep, and then we'll have uh, this be the same thing, Charlie and Tony backing up. And then this section will be Tony's section with Jasmine backing up. This can be the same, Tony's section with Jasmine backing up. And then this will be Tony's with uh, Charlie backing up. Yep, okay. I like I like, I like that better. Um, do we want to bring somebody out of the kitchen there's only Nessa and Melanie are on this I just want to go through this really quick so Tony I think I'm gonna not have you in the kitchen um, but cutting board wise you're the only one else that likes to cut like Melanie doesn't like to cut she doesn't hate it so I guess she could she's only a one at it though so it's not great she can get some practice <laughs> that's it um I think I want to make sure Tony, not very charismatic. Hopefully she's not rude, but if she gets some more experience in this, you know, I just need to give her more experience. Tony's also a big cleaner. So giving her a table section is probably not a good idea, right? Let's make this as a Jasmine backup. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to make her a, a lead on a table or at least not that many tables. Maybe we'll give her two tables. Charlie will pick up the slack and take up this table too. Okay. All right, I think we'll, we'll try this. And um, 
we have Jody and Melanie there. Jody, Melanie there. Jody, Melanie. Jasmine's here. Let's not have Jasmine on this. Well, nobody else can do it. I don't want Jasmine in here, though. She should be out here doing things. So, uh, Nessa's going to have to pick this up as a secondary. It's the cooking staff. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we get here. So, we should hopefully be able to serve a lot faster. Oh, hang on. Now, do we want Charlie to do this? Empty tables means less money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want Charlie to do this with Charisma? 26 more experience to the next level. I mean, she's got a complaint right away, so this should be the owner, right? Charisma skill. Yeah, I think we're going to have Charlie go in there and talk to her. This place is hot. Too damn hot. God damn. Wow. Okay, she's, she's pretty passionate about this particular idea. Maybe a free meal will refresh you. Does this does this help me at all? Apparently that cost me $68, which makes no sense. Hang on. Okay, I don't know how that cost me $68. It should cost me whatever she orders, the cost to make. That's what it should cost me. So I don't know how that cost me $68, but okay. I'm hoping I'm reading this incorrectly. What did she order? At least she's patient. She doesn't mind waiting for her food. But what did she order? Ground beef, probably something with beef, I would think. Something fried. Order up. See, she got, she got waited on very quickly, right? They don't have to be very, they don't have to be very patient if we're gonna serve them very quickly. You better leave me a good review, dang it. No reviews today? Nothing? Nothing. I gave you a free meal. Oh, you didn't leave yet. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't leave yet. Ding. More wages. Four-star review. Pony served me incredibly fast. Excuse me? Excuse me? No, I did. Ugh. I didn't even get credit for serving her, okay? She got the golden ribs. And they were cheap. I probably should raise my prices. It is recommending a 765% markup now, so I probably should raise them. Why don't I take and just pop that like a couple dollars. The sweet ribs can go up a couple dollars. The golden ribs can come up like, I don't know, like this. Bacon frenzy, yeah, I can go up about like, say like this. Fried pork ribs, this is fine as is. And the fried pork loin, I really don't even want them anyway. So uh, as soon as like, if they're not taking up any storage space, I'm removing it from the menu, so. It's not exactly anyone's favorite. But I think three tables per server is decent. Excuse me, I was not rude. You were rude. Naomi Graham, who are you? Naomi Graham, where are you? Is this you? You have low standards of service. Seriously? What are you doing, Charlie, huh? Do you just not like customers or what? <laughs> Uh, Jody Simmons is leveled up. Hang on. Jody, 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 right here. So Jody leveled up. Um, she's become more experienced on the grill. So she could be an international chef. Customers would be willing to pay more. Nice. I like that. Iron Man doesn't slow down when tired. Hey, I like that too. Rockstar. Increasing the cooking skills of other nearby employees while cooking. Love it. Do it. Good. She's a rock star. And you know what? Jody's in the kitchen, so nearby cooks are going to be better at their job with Jody around. I like it. Sounds good. A two star? For what? I wish I could see their thoughts as to why, you know? Probably doesn't. It's, it's this right here. Yeah, Christy Jordan said this. Uh, they finally have fried pork loin in the menu, but it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, really? Basic recipe for fried spiced pork loin has been created. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. Fried spiced pork loin is just fried and spiced. Put it over here. Pick this off the menu. Goodbye. It's disgusting, remember? 
fried spoi uh fried spiced pork loin is here it just has a little bit of pepper so we're gonna have to order pepper um but you know this pork loin here we could do something with it i don't know i don't know what else to do with it that's the thing guys you gotta help me out on this i'm i really should spend some time in the kitchen shouldn't i uh, I would like to do uh, on Twitch. Probably will happen on Twitch because um, I'm looking for a reason to like. I need to have something I'm going to stream on Twitch. And one of the things I thought of was having a cooking stream every week. So something like uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make it like a Sunday afternoon thing where my wife and I will stream together in our kitchen and and just cook things. Uh, we'll have a, a dish of the day, or maybe we'll take requests or something like that, right? And um, I've done a cooking stream in the past with my old house. Uh, on the new house here, down in my my office, my basement area is actually a studio. I'm calling it a studio uh, because there's separate stages. And one of the stages is a cooking environment. Um, I've got a stove down here, a, a fridge, a sink. I've got a big, uh, I got a lot of countertop space and uh, also places to rig cameras, microphones, etc. cetera. Um, so doing a cooking show down in this basement area, down in, in my, in the stage, uh, is going to be easier to re reproduce because uh, in my kitchen in my last house it was like it sucked i had to disconnect my entire stuff and take my big computer tower and bring it upstairs and set it all up that way and i had to completely move everything in the dining room completely out of the way off to the side so there was room for all the equipment it was, it was terrible uh, but down here it can be turnkey you know just flip a switch and it's ready to go so uh dedicated stage environment for it that's coming soon early next year it's, uh, it's something I've been really wanting to set up. And that would help me with things like this. <laughs> so um, I'm going to leave that on the menu. Yeah, you got a new thing on the menu there. So I need to, I need to order pepper then. Good thing I have dry storage now, huh? So there's pepper. I like how I can get... Oh, okay. So doing this quickly, sometimes it seems like it's going up at a different rate than this is going up. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll keep 10 in here. It's fine. Ben in there. Okay. Place looks amazing. We know. We know. Four stars. I just want one. I need another five. Wait, I already got it. Wait a minute. I got it. Isn't this? It, it's three stars. But it looks like five. These are both three. It's just that yellow. Oh, man. Melanie's performing well. This stuff should really taste better. You know, we, we need it to taste better. I think with good cooking skill, it will taste better, right? Isn't that how that works? Running low on fried pork loin. You can only... Oh, you know what? I added that spiced pork loin and I didn't uh, refresh it. Hang on. So I do need to actually order more now. Yeah, we'll keep... Uh, we'll keep 10 in here in case that dish is popular. Also, I think it's probably underpriced. It's very underpriced. Uh, so we're going to jack this up to... Well, it's two dollars to make it. It's um, this is seven hundred percent. So let's let's actually make it ten bucks. See how it does at ten bucks. Okay, good, good, good. Level up for who? Jody again? Really? Jody has become more experienced in cleaning. Ah, okay. Chatterbox uh, taking a break with other employees will make them happier. Okay, no hate. Removes a hated action. So right now she hates the fryer. This would be really good. I could assign her to that fryer. But also popular kid is good too. Increasing the number of customers. Who's currently on the fryer? Yeah, I would really like... I think this is okay though, these two. I don't need anybody else on the fryer. We're going to do popular kid. I want more customers. That's sweet. Good job, Jody. Good stuff. And then, of course, all your names are going to change, so you won't be Jody anymore. <laughs> but it's okay. Next video, I'm going to make your guys' names in the game. So make sure if you want in, you tell me that in the comments. Uh, tell me like a little bit about you, what you kind of want to do, and then we'll try to fit you in. Um, also, hey, hang on. Extra requirement for this, okay? If you want to be in this, all right, you, you, you got to watch the videos to know this, right? So if you don't do it right, eh, gone. Okay, only people who do it right. Okay, that proves you watch the video. Gotcha. Okay, um, 
in addition to telling me what kind of job you want to do, right? You also should recommend a dish or recommend uh, some foods that go together or something, right? Give me some type of restaurant recommendation uh, in addition to telling me that you want to work it. Yeah? Okay. So Nessa Gordon has become more experienced in cleaning and we can make her stress tolerant as well, although she's not really that stressed out. Maybe Chatterbox? will lower the stress of people in the room if someone is about to reach a breaking point. I hope this is never, like I hope this is this is gonna be useless. Um, so I'm gonna give her Chatterbox because I don't want people to get close to the breaking point anyway. And that's really like one of those skills that only, only applies, right? It situationally applies. And I want something that's just like more common. Like taking a break with other people is probably more common than people reaching their breaking points. Hopefully. <laughs> we really hope that that's the case. But I like this balance. Three tables per server. I don't think anybody's having to wait a long time to get served anymore. Just rude, basically. Melanie was rude. Yeah, there's the five star right there. Justin Owens. Good for you, sir. Oh, the big tipper as well. Hannah Ross is so charming. Whoever the hell that is. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Are you like a date or something? I don't know who Hannah is. I don't, I have no idea. She's not one of my employees. Are you sure you're in the right place? Did you, did you give the right review? <laughs> anyway, that should take care of this. Yep, good. So tier one objectives, we got this. I don't know exactly what this does for me, but getting that objective seems cool. So here's some thought recaps can use this too. You can see our customer's thoughts, which again, source was Hannah Ross, whoever the heck that is. It's another customer, I guess. Maybe they were chatting with another customer. I bet it was probably a date or something. Uh, I hate making. It's too... What is this? this is, these are employees' thoughts. I hate making something. Probably something in the kitchen. Let me just take a look really quick. Uh, I am paid less than I deserve, says Nessa causing her stress. Nessa. Nessa, let's take a look. You are probably the lowest paid person in this restaurant. Probably. Let me let me go down the list here. Let me see. I don't take a salary. Um, Jasmine, 14. Yeah, yikes. 938. Nessa's making 836. 1245. Oh yeah, she's definitely worth more than this. All right. I mean, your skills are not that great, to be honest. And if you're willing to work for this, Great, but fair salary based on employee skills says 944. So why don't we give you 10? You deserve a raise, okay? Good for you, Nessa. Speak up, all right? Speak up, I'll do what I can for you. All right, here you go. I think we're in good shape, guys. This is, uh, this is going well. We're at almost 50% popularity now. We're getting five customers per hour. And we're having people do really well, I think probably because of that perk, right? Raising the skills of cooks around them. It's definitely helping, I think. Five stars, very delicious. Good, good, good. We need 15 to get to the next tier. Look at this, 100 five-star reviews. We're gonna have to get a bigger restaurant too pretty soon. Do we need one though? I don't know, like, I don't, I don't see our lobby being completely full. Oh, what does snowy weather do for us? Wet clients will be impatient. Oh, that's right. So they're going to be standing out here in line if the place is full. So that would be a thing to look at as well. That would be really something to consider if uh, if we get to the point where... Hmm. Tony served me incredibly fast. Nice job, Tony. If we, get, if we get full, then people have to wait outside. And that means they're going to be wet. I would think, though, that if they can get in and they don't have a wait, that they wouldn't be wet. I would hope anyway. So after day three, we end the day technically $3.66 more wealthy. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's great. It's really great. Same average star rating, but we have 84% positive. Yesterday was 87, I think. Um, so we had a couple of ne negative reviews today and I want to take a look at those. So um, 
obviously positive reviews are always great but the negative ones are what really help us right so we want to take a look at those negatives people have complaints we want to see how, how to address those so i don't know how to solve the rudeness thing other than charisma it might be a charisma thing i really have no idea um if you're a better server like maybe it's your server skill um i don't know what skill basically is what i'm saying that governs rudeness it's either serving or charisma i don't think it's anything else menu lacks dishes that i like uh there was four people that said that today so we can go through those later too i guess um i wish they had fried sports or sorry i can't speak fried spiced pork loin actually harder to say than i thought it'd be uh, on the menu uh sweet ribs was disgusting and i was rude two people thought i was rude today mostly though just people thinking something is disgusting which i mean that's not my fault um these might be people also who it might be my fault I mean, maybe my cooks are just bad um but it, in other words it, it could be that nothing on the menu was what they like and so they ordered something anyway and then they didn't like that thing right it's possible that that's a thing too um yeah finances wise we're just a little bit it's it looks like we did lose 48 dollars total but we're getting better we're, we're this is stay sustainable um for a lot longer than you know before and then staff did well we're paying is it nessa yeah we're paying nessa more money now we're at 10 36. it's still not as much as some of her colleagues but it's for her skill level that's what, that's what the game recommends i'm paying them above what they're worth right i i want to pay my staff more than the game recommends i pay them uh, so we have, yeah, so this this is uh, not that helpful of a menu, but I will say the golden ribs are doing pretty well. Most, a lot of people are ordering them pretty consistently. And then this actually is a very new item and it's already in third place. So clearly it's uh, more popular. And then, okay, so what I could do is take a look at the thought recap and I wanna see, hmm. I wish I could expand these because like the dot 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 doesn't help me Thomas Romero is so what <laughs> like I can't expand them uh, I can't make this window any wider or anything these are useless I can't even click them do nothing so completely useless uh, okay so it is winter and it's a Christmas restaurant how fitting I hope you guys will come back for the next one where I will be renaming stuff and hopefully we'll be designing a whole new, not a whole new, but a renovation to our menu that will improve our customer experience. I do hope you'll come back for the next video and join me. Bye-bye.